Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, just calm down. Help! Here. Oh, take my hand. Ah! Come on! <laughs> You're gonna fall unless you take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough. You take my little hand. No! Get it away from me! Take it! Take my hand! No. How are the emails go? How are the emails going, uh, Rob? Uh, four ten, I think. Um, oh, okay, not too bad. I've uh, I'm seventeen away from a thousand. Happening. Great. <laughs> Can't be should happy kick, for me. Should we kick? I am. Down? Can't you we tell? Just had that whole discussion. You had that whole discussion, and you can't even be happy for me. I am. This is me being happy. I think it's fucking oh, awesome. Okay. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's great. I, I think a thousand. That. Good for you. I want two thousand. <laughs> you can make a hundred grand. Fuck that. Half a mil. That's what I want to see. Get on it. Get on it. I want it to be the best book in CG. I know you could do it. I know you could do great. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make 200 day one. All right. Day two, another 200. Day three, 400. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see. Nothing so but success for you and your family. I want your, I want your kids to grow up and be millionaires. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Thank it. you. I'm touched. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I wish all the same for you too, Camel. <laughs> Camel, could were you just sit, looking at us, just sitting there? <laughs> was... It's weird, huh? Yeah. Everyone in the chat. Did, did that happen? I was Everyone like, in... I, suddenly I was back and I couldn't hear the intro. And I was like, I guess we're live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's what yeah. happens to me on your show. And I'm like, uh, what are we doing? And I'm just seeing us all sit there, not saying anything. And you, it says live, but there's a video playing, but you can't see it. I don't know what it is. Some StreamYard BS. Yeah, StreamYard is get their shit together. I know. I know. It is live. Uh, my dark, twisted uh, faggotry. Uh, are we allowed to say his name on YouTube? I mean, everyone else does. So I'm probably yes. sure it's perfectly fine. Uh, how you fellas going? All right. Seems like everyone Great. decided they're going to do a draw stream tonight, but that's okay. Uh, despite what Colin said, no, this is our normal draw stream time. We have, we've sort of been slacking on it of late though, just because it's the holidays and you know things happen. Um, but uh, it's time to get back onto the horse or the wagon or whatever it is, and. Uh, I got a, uh, I got a camel, camel, no, a uh, sorry, a boots and heels piece to finish. So I'll be coloring that tonight. I don't know what camel's going to be doing. I don't know what Rob's going to be doing, but uh, I will. Uh, I'll say hello to the chat. Uh, first is Voyager. We don't do the first tonight, but uh, you can claim it nonetheless. Uh, Sark is here. Who else? Uh, D Wag is here. Uh, let me give a shout out to D Wag. He just, he just started streaming again. Uh, is it next week? It's on the 11th. So on the 11th, I will be closing out Beckoned on my show. And then because my show only goes till 10 p.m., he's going to take over at some point, I believe. And uh, they're going to do the proper close out of Beckoned, which uh, should be a lot of fun, which is a, a campaign we all love around here. Uh, we've got Phil in the house. Who else? D's here. Hail D, you bloody legend. Cullen's in the house. Cam, Phil Devereaux. Is Mel apparently? I don't give Mel enough shout outs. I'm hearing. Do you want from, from Mel? No, I don't know. That's what the chat's saying. It's is that like shout her out after the show, before the show, at dinner? <laughs> You're married to her, isn't that enough of a yeah, shout out? That's what I thought, but apparently not. Apparently not. She gets to, to like... get be married to Michael Bank. I know she, 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 she should be shouting you all out. over me. Yeah, <laughs> she does. She retweets me a lot. I kind she of uh, gatekept her me, from. And I'm tired of it. Yeah, I gatekept her from the uh, be best <laughs> sharer award, uh, just mm. like I gatekept you, Camel, and I gatekept Jeremy, 
I think I kept a lot of people. Amazing. But, uh, you know, it is. I thought we were friends. can't all win. Well, look, the point of an award is not just to give awards to all your friends. It's to give awards. Clearly, you haven't been on the the internet very long, if that's what you think. (laughs) 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 I'm surprised surprised you haven't really pissed someone off with the awards yet, Mike. Well, I hope they all understand it's just a bit of fun. I hope. Uh, but I do, it is heartfelt. Like, you know, these, like, a lot of these people have been here for over two years, uh, for some reason. So, uh, yeah, you know, I want to, I want to thank them. I want to thank them. Uh, like this man right here, Louie, and Gary G and Paul Og. Ooh, Paul Og. Eric. Paul Og. Paul Og. Uh, who else? Dal A. Take my little hand. Did you see I shared my, uh, my hands? Did anyone? See? I just—I mean, I just did it. This is this is breaking news. I tweeted. <laughs> breaking news! Stop the presses. Bankrupt Ooh, tweeted. I, uh, I oh, you a did tweet. a poll or something, right? I did a poll yesterday, uh, just saying uh, I'm going to be doing hands, and uh, I did it, sort of. I mean, I don't know. I said, "Can I do it in? A, can I do sixty hands in a day?" And I didn't really say what a day qualifies as. Is that like the work day? Eight hours. That was well, never I mean, going to happen. Tw- twenty-four hours is. Well. I would imagine I thought twenty-four hours is pretty. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, Did I, you I do think it? I got pretty close. Uh, Eric Winberg for two. Happy New Year's all. Happy New Year's to you, Eric Winberg. Uh, we're getting a crackhead raid. Hail Jeremy. That was a really fun show. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, Hail Mo Biggs. I see he's joined us here in the chat. Hail Devilfish. And uh, well, look. I mean, here's a selection. I couldn't show all of them that I did. Uh, where the hell is it? I, I couldn't show all of them that I did because I sort of flattened my layers and I just wanted to show hands. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of hands. Andrew, all do. I mean, they all kind of look the same. Are there 60? Uh, I think there's Not more even. than 60 in here, but I, I, drew, I drew more than 60. There is nowhere near 60 counted. hands right there. I think there is. I mean, I kind of counted up to about here, and I think I was in the 50s. I'm like, yeah, I think that's it. But there were others that I didn't include anyway. So there are 60, but like they had like hands in front of something really complicated, and I'd already flattened the layer, and I'm like, I'm not cutting that out. Why did you do this? Like, why did you do this as opposed to doing real work that you have to actually get done? This is real work. These are the hands from the – I'm not just drawing hands randomly. Why would I do that? I counted These 71. These are the hands. Uh, You've counted? Yeah, yeah. 71. Definitely yeah. 71. 71. Yeah, there you go. Um, and, and there's others I, that I didn't even put in there. I, I don't... Uh, I, I might have to recount, but like it looks like yeah, above 70 to me. Yeah. It was a lot of, it was a lot of hands. I, I, do, I want to do that stuff because I'm, like, I'm trying to get faster. And if I set myself little daily goals... That's how I get faster with the drawing. And um, you know, these are the hands from the, the final scene in uh, Painted Death. So uh, there you go. That's what they're from. Uh, Sumo, sorry for 20. What's going on, buddy? Your accountant. Yeah, got to get back to him. He says, Happy New Year's. I had to sneak this in before my accountant cuts me off. Yeah, Sumo Thori won the uh, most generous super chatter. And, uh, Not on my channel, he didn't. Yeah, well, he really did on this channel. So, well, again, thank you, Sumo. <laughs> even if your accountant uh, Nolan would win it on your channel, yeah, it's yeah, between Nolan, Nolan and Nate, I think it might yeah, be Nolan God. at this point. Yeah, uh, a, the Nolan is the most generous says, backer. That's a hundred percent for sure. Nolan Lockhart says you do an excellent hand job. Now, uh, I think Rob will attest. <laughs> Reach around, uh, and there hands. was no copy and paste, Paul. Oh. Yeah, I didn't copy and paste. What I did do, and you'll notice here, a lot of these hands, especially the male ones, they look a lot like this a hand because yeah. And the cool thing now, I've got my I've got my phone for this side, and I've got uh, the take the screen, so you can get you can like get any kind of reference that you need off your screen. So that big fist, for example, there, I mean, you can see it looks a lot like this fist right here. So yeah, I mean. Use the technology. That's what I say. Uh, D, five memberships. Hail D, you bloody legend just gifted another five memberships. You guys' generosity, it doesn't slow down, and that's why you deserve this. Well, cheers, biggies. 
<laughs> but uh, we're going to be um, let's, let's let's get rid of the hands, hands across America or Australia. Did I get? That's weird. It's uh, sumo. It's it's showing. Oh, actually, both of your guys' super chats are showing up twice in my chat. That's bizarre. I hope you don't go through and get get double charged or something. <laughs> uh, hang on. Sumo has a question about that. Here's a question about the hands. And because he is the wrenchy winner, he can ask that question. Oh, damn it. I just closed it. Oh, God damn it. So um, why, why, did you, why did you draw 60 hands? Like, I just told you, Rob. They're the hand. I, because my characters have hands, I need to draw hands. So I if like I've got the, the I've got all the pages laid out and you know the characters are there so I, I need to draw their hands. Uh, so I just drew all the hands at once. So I got all the hands out of the way, you know? So you're going to cut and paste the hands from that page. No, over. no, 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 no. I already did that. I spent the last 10 minutes just cutting and pasting all those hands onto the thing so I can present it. Make a tweet out of it or whatever. Uh, because I, I I told people I was going to try and do this, so I had to show them. I can't I can't show them all in their own thing. It's sort of like a reverse kit bash. Uh, someone Sounds said, dumb. "What's the left hand doing? Is that this one? Our oh, top left? I mean, I don't remember. Oh, this one here. See these ones here. These hands are holding a knife and." They're, they're ladies' hands, and she's, like, putting a finger on the tip of the blade. The, there, there's of. a hand there that looks... Don't like look too closely at the hand. This, oh, my God. That's, like, an upside-down... Well, no, it looks some like a cow. Some of these hands are quite small, <laughs> all right? So Dude, like, some of those up, hands are messed up, You gotta man. milk those that's fingers. Fine. <laughs> Zoom in, oh, man. Bro. the hand. No, it looks like in. a heart. It's only got valves on it. You tweeted this, didn't you? Yes, you can go and look at the hands. Every time I post my hands, I get uh, everyone saying, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. It looks hand enough. Zoom it in hands. better than the ginger root right. hands. <laughs> Is it though? Look at this one here. <laughs> oh, it's it's like, it's like... It's kind of like someone's grabbed your two fingers and like split them and <laughs> them off. It looks yeah. like like the penguin had surgery to separate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that you know what that hand is there. Yeah, that's someone in who's like getting messed up. So oh, okay. he's actually that's actually bent over something. So that probably explains that. But uh, whatever. What's this hand doing what, here, Mark? What's this? What's going on? It looks like the hand. Uh, that's a uh, that's a Krav Maga move. No, no, that's like getting your hand like all that bent, <laughs> bent Krav round Maga. backwards. Yeah, what is that? What how do you say it? I don't know. Krav oh, crap, Maga. Yeah, crap, Maga. Maga. Yeah, Maga. Jesus. I, I never heard anyone say it before. Uh, yeah, it's sort of being bent round backwards like that. So, uh -huh. uh, I've gotten. I've. I've actually. I was actually a bit proud of myself. I didn't think in all of Painted Death I did any force perspective hands, and there were a few force perspective hands in there that I'm, I'm pretty happy with. So I think I might have turned a corner there. Um, you know, I'd always have to like, because uh, you know, because uh, Joe would go, yeah, that just looks like the fingers are, you know, an inch long. Um, and I go, oh, okay. You're uh, not, you're not selling me on this finger length Bancroft here. I mean, that's an exceptionally long finger. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> guys look these hair like you got a page of a book yeah and then you know it's one panel and then it's a tiny little hand on one panel no one's getting out their electronic microscope to be able to measure the digit length of some of these hands uh -huh. right? but yeah but I, think, I, have, think, uh, I think jack kirby said that actually <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For the most part, they have four fingers and a thumb in the right orientation. Well, this one here has two thumbs. It's got a thumb on the left and on the right. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It does. 
<laughs> Mo, Mo says, uh, Rob, but Bancroft just can't just spoil the ending where ET shows up. Yeah, I know. Mm. <laughs> What's with this guy's wrist, Bancroft? Yeah, it's a bit busted. That's all right. Uh, it, like, uh, like a lot of the wrists, I'm, I didn't really care about the wrists much because most of these people. Yeah, have, we can tell. Uh, Look at this. Yeah, because it, because it's gonna have um, a thing over it, you know. So yeah. sometimes if it's just Another like page. send it off in the general direction, and I, like you could see some of them have what are those sleeves, you know, uh, but most of them don't. Man, you should see the hand monsters from Elden Ring, dude. They are so sick. I'll, I'll bring one up. You, you'll love it. Yeah. All right. Can we stop laughing about my hands now? I, I They're do pretty good, man. It's it's not like an insult. It, it it'll come off like one, and I don't mean it to. But did you take figure drawing in college? Yeah, but for you know, yeah, a year or half a year or something. What is I this? Probably, I probably ignored the hands to be yeah. perfectly blunt. What is you. this? What is this one? Well, it looks like someone's pregnant and their hand is on their stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it is bending around. It is bending around. So yeah, there'll be like, and it, it, look, a lot of times. When my line art doesn't look like it should, that's because I'm thinking of how I'm going to color it, you know. So that's pretty good, man. I mean, you've come a long way in in I, your hands. I think I have, and the fact that I did all of them in a day, like this, would have taken me two weeks when I started, and they would have been a hundred times worse. So. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy with how it went. There's only yeah, there's probably there's out. probably around five that are just absolute train wrecks. Well, any of the ones are that are like good. when when it's when it's all said and done on the page in the character and you can see the scale and everything. If any of them are like beyond the pale, trust me, Joe will let me know. He'll um. What are you zooming in on? <laughs> the weird thumb. <laughs> it's the fingers. Well, it's very small. You have to understand. I don't zoom in. Yeah, I yeah, have a well, set I can zoom tell. that I work with. Oh, and... this one's this one's doing um shadow puppets. Yeah, I have oh, a yeah. set zoom that I work with, and I don't go in any closer because it doesn't it doesn't help anything. Like like you can't see it. It's that small. So. Um, yeah, you know, it, is, it's is not this as if the pen broken? is like a precise, no, it, it looks like, it, it looks you, without like, context, Rob, it looks like someone's crushed like the top of his hand here. You already fingers. won. You already won the, uh, best Bancroft insult at 2022. You don't well, need to go for 2023 as well. Yeah, well why don't why don't we? All right, good job, man. Good looks job. like well, a face on view of a turtle. Says Michael teacher. Oh, Mo says Bancroft doesn't zoom in on his hand drawings because he doesn't want to have nightmares. Mm. No. Well, that's Look, good. I put it out there, okay? That was worth spending an entire day on. Good job. What do you mean? I, I, I can't put out a book where my characters don't have any hands. It's just like their body ends up and then there's no hand on it. Give them all hooks. On the end of their arm. Know? Everyone has a hook. It's never explained. It's not as if I wasted a day just drawing <laughs> random hands. Or I've stubs. never done that. I Do you do you ever do that, Camel? Do you ever like, I'm going to do some draw, some warm-ups, some drawing warm-ups and... Uh, no. No, I haven't done warm up since high school. I, I don't. I mean, I see these guys who post stuff online, like, "Oh, I just did this warm up." I'm like, "That took an hour and a half. I could be draw. I could be working." <laughs> like, I could I have finished a, you know, a panel or something. In that, yeah, time. yeah. There's no warm ups. You either draw or you don't draw. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And for some people, it works, but for me, I'm just. I it, I see it as time wasted. If I want to warm up, I'll I don't know, go have a hot shower or something. I'll jerk it. That's how I wear my hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hands are ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all set. 
<laughs> I'll crack my knuckles. Yeah. Um, let's uh, let's bring up let's bring up the campaigns, boots and heels, uh, and I probably should have had them already all loaded up. Probably. Oh, I've got one here. Oh, you do? Yep. Not boots and heels though. Book bookmarks versus stickers. Ooh. Final twenty six oh. hours. Uh, okay. trying to get to five k. They're so close. What's that? Two hundred and sixty one dollars. Holy because... cow! Where'd... They got an extra seven hundred dollars. Was that two? <laughs> no, seven. Rob, look at Colin's oh, avatar. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Did they? Yeah. Um, Colin's. Did Colin's they... doing well. Send, sell the EJ Morgis, Morgis piece? Uh, let me have a look. Because yeah, yeah, they, they just hit 4,000. Yep. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, okay. sold that, they sold that the other day to... Uh, um, so, okay, I was like, how did they... Uh, Philbo? Was that great. Philbo? No, was it Nicholas, nah. Nicholas uh, Gear bought that, I think. Yeah, 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 Nicholas yeah. Gear. It's looking great. Um, go If you haven't picked it up, go pick it up. Uh, there's only 26 hours left. They're not going in demand, so this is it. They're done after this. There's no more. Yeah, finished. they got to go. They got to go to print. Oh, are they going to close out tomorrow on you, uh, Mike? <laughs> are they going to close out on me? Uh, hmm. Are they going to finish are they gonna up? Finish on me? all over you, Mike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Um, I mean, they're more than welcome to. I guess I don't normally stream tomorrow, but it's uh, we're. Uh, we're um we're on holidays here, so I can if if Snuggy's in the chat, uh, he's yeah, he's more than welcome to. Okay, we could do that absolutely. If they get we can actually five... we can actually close out at the closeout time if if they want to go late because it's not a normal time for me to stream. So uh, we could you know go to the closeout. If they oh. get to five k, the uh, Clint Stoker sticker as a magnet plus all metal bookmarks will have art on both sides. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Camel, you've been you've been summoned. No one, Matt, no one says it could really use a boost from a camel pitch. Yeah, I'll do the best I can. If I mean, unfortunately, if they're not going in demand, we're not doing a game show anytime soon. But that is the next show we are going to be doing. I just have to essentially build a new intro for it. It's very close. Oh, and Mike, we, we have to schedule a time sometime this week, because I know you're on vacation, where we can just hang out and go over the Super Nintendo stuff. Awesome. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. be there. No, no, we don't want you there. We'll do it. Oh. <laughs> Not for the preliminary stuff, you know. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Give it a pitch, Camel. Let's hear it. How would you uh, how would you sell this one? Um, can't afford the comics. Can only, can only afford one piece of art. <laughs> Are you a cheapskate? <laughs> Do you have no money? <laughs> so so bad. Go, go, go buy a bookmark instead of the actual comic itself. Have uh, live in a tiny house and have no wall space for posters. Well, now you have a mini poster. You can. You could use uh, to look at all of the art that you want over and over. That's uh, that's my pitch. That's that's the best you got. I like it. That's good. Yeah. Also, it's the only way if you're like a collector. This is sort of a real pitch, but if you're a collector of either you know any of these guys' work to get everything. So if you're like, oh, I really want to get everything that Mike puts out for the Lucent, well, you're only going to be able to get it if you get the bookmark and the sticker. If I really that's like That's actually the... a real like that's actually a proper yeah. Yeah. And so like if you know, I I want all of the boots and heels stuff, the only way to do it is going to be to get the sticker that's attached to this or the um the replicator uh thing that uh um Shanth uh painted. So like those are that that would be what I would think would be a real pitch because it's like, well, if I really want to get all this stuff, I have to get this to get everything. Uh, Snuggy for five, Mike. At 5k, <laughs> another magnet is added and the metal bookmarks are all double sided. Uh, where, uh, how far? Well, that's, t I mean, I look at that. that. I already said that. Snuggy. That's too late. 
Uh, they're not far away, man. They need like I think if if I can do maths, yeah. it's two two hundred and seventy one or two hundred sixty one two hundred seventy five or six five or six um featured tier backers, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Campbell gave a really good pitch. Go back it. You know these guys um do shows for people that are a fan channel. It's really important that they get supported. I think by like the community as well. Like, you know, give something no, back. That. Pity, no pity backing. No, it's it's it is cool art though. You know, it's like the no art is friggin' rad. Yeah, the art is rad. It looks good. It's a really good price for yeah. like yeah for what you're getting. Uh, yeah, but yeah, they do. Yeah. All right. Good All right. good stuff, Mike. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like no, fuck that. Oh shit! The the wheel strikes again, Camel and Mike. <laughs> yeah, I love that wheel. Unbelievable! I'm gonna marry it that is wheel. fantastic. I'm glad I hit uh, over 40k Australian. That's that took forever, but you know what well, magic from... was infused into that wheel that compelled even me to finally <laughs> back boots and heels. Oh, I must do it. Has my blood and camel? You were like, "Oh, it's only seventy five bucks." You know that was over a hundred dollars Australian. Just uh, wanted to make that known. <laughs> it's a bit, you know. It's a bit, right? <laughs> After I'm this show, he's complaining right to Mel. <laughs> he's like pulling, he's literally guy. going over to Clark. Take him, give me that food. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's for camel now. <laughs> <laughs> What what did Clark get for Christmas, Mike? Oh, I what wanted to show you guys because I thought Camel might like. Did it. you, you have to, a, uh, like this? You did you have like to take it back to the store? Heels. No, we didn't. Uh, ah, is that? Oh yeah, is it? It's not the Lego one, right? It's just like a, a figure. No, no, just look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Didn't go is it self transforming? Yeah. Oh, dude, don't even get this down. Yeah, let, let's point the camera at your crotch, please. Second. Shit. Oh, I, I popped it accidentally. <laughs> that didn't work. Well, there you go. It transformed. Oh, he's cool. even talking. Oh, is that from the uh, Bumblebee yeah. line? Yes. Yeah, so that's the yeah. um that's the it's Optimus like a cartoon version CGI. Bumblebee as well. Yeah, yeah. They're really good. Sturdy. Just wanted to show that off because I know I know Rob likes Transformers and I know you like toys, Camel. Um, I like Transformers. Yeah, he loves it. He's been watching Transformers too. The original or like the new ones? No, no, no. New stuff. They don't they don't watch the old stuff. Mo, Mo says, uh, I popped it accidentally, as if poor Mel hasn't heard that enough out of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Um Mike, you wanna you wanna angle your camera back up? You know? Oh yeah. No, leave you, don't, it. you don't like that view? As much as I lo like looking at your groinal region. Um, you know. <laughs> Wait, are you drawing? You're not drawing on the screen? You're drawing on like a No, I draw tablet? on a tablet. No, I never draw on screen. Oh. It's, unless I unless I use my iPad. Uh, That's nuts. No, I don't That's, like it. You've been, it's, um, oh, God, I can't I like do to it just look straight you. ahead. I like to look straight ahead. Otherwise, I get like I can start getting sore back. Oh, see, I my stuff. screen is like right in front of me. So I draw actually on it but i'm looking straight ahead mm. oh, okay yeah no oh. and it works well for the draw stream because i can kind of like look up here and i can sort of you know i can see things in my peripheral as well mm. yeah uh yeah no I'd, i i've i'm denied over whether or not i should go cintiq uh but uh you know a lot of people they do that and then they end up going back and i'm happy with what i've got uh it you know, I, I I never get cramps or anything like that. It works for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. I don't know how Corey draws and hasn't messed up his back. Oh, yeah, he's like this when he draws. It's so bad. He's like... That's, every time I look at him, I just start going like this. I start, like, stretching yeah. my neck out. And, yeah, I'm always conscious of that. Like, like sit up straight, shoulders back. Uh
All right. Keep on rolling, baby. I just noticed that uh, with the um, with the with the new inks. I mean, I've been doing all the I've been the colors, but I didn't like. There's still some parts that like got recolored, uh, got redrawn. Sorry. So I've got to um. Oh yeah, yeah. I went in there, especially yeah. on that quadrant. I was like, all right, yeah. let's let's kind of because I, I I rushed it just to get it done, and then I was like, yeah. all right, want I'll go in there when I do the inks and really kind of finish it up. So yeah, it's a little bit tighter. Yeah. All good. How, how are the colors going, Mike? Do you want to give us like a, a zoom out and we can have a, a quick squeeze? Oh, they're the same. They're the same. But uh, it's, you know, it's now it's getting there though. Yeah, I mean, we sort of saw this last time. Um, I took a little break, you know, over the Christmas period, but now I'm jumping back into it. So, do you think it'll be done when we uh, do the reveal on the 14th? That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't be. Actually, a lot of the real time-consuming stuff has been done, and that's the flats, and actually a lot of the sort of conceptualization of it. I find it all sort of starts to snowball and then things start moving really quickly. So, um, but we'll see once I do the lighting, how much extra essentially lighting I have to do on some of these characters, especially the shiny ones. They're going to need much more attention and anything that's chrome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It, but uh, like... yeah, I, I think the lion share is done. It just, now we you know get to finishing it. The um, yeah, like you'll have to backlight the buildings in the back, mm -hmm. and then yeah, like uh, heels or high heels, like her flying disc should have like some type of gleam on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all the special effects and stuff. I think once I'm done, because I, I, I just gotta, I've gotta quickly shade in. Uh, that's high heels, isn't up here? The yeah, yeah, the one with the discs, yeah. I got to quickly shade in the rest of her. Uh, I've got to shade in the uh, what is it? Time puncher. Time puncher. Yep, and uh, Jean Claude agent, and then I'll start the lighting. So hopefully I can oh, finish okay. all those three characters tonight, uh, as long as there's not too much to fix on the flatting. And yeah, and then we're getting into lighting, and the lighting is where it all starts to really happen. The well, yeah, it's already it starting starts to, come to, to really look cool uh oh see hang on john's here hang on no 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 john john one sec one second don't go uh you uh i i promised something the other night that i neglected to uh award you so john uh you earned it you are now a moderator so uh there you go wrenched I think I need some more wrenches in the chat. Felix needs some competition. He's like absolutely crushing the game. But, Remember uh, uh, when you wrenched me and I spammed Hail Salad over and over? <laughs> like, uh, how could I forget? No. <laughs> I used the wrench appropriately. <laughs> That's how everyone should use it. How, how's the um, art contest going, Camel? Have you got any more entrants? I've had a bunch, but they don't want their stuff to be seen till the end. So, um, I get that though. You like you want to you want to keep it secret. Yeah, yeah I, I'm totally fine with it. Especially, I mean, like I, when I did the contest last year, uh, I didn't put my godlike piece out until I think the day it was due. But that mm. was mostly because I was working on it right up until that point. But I do remember sitting on it because I was like, yeah, let's wait. Because if, you know, you want as much, I don't know, I guess, attention and, and you know, excitement as possible, like right up until the end. So, yeah, there, there's been a couple of guys who sent them over to me and they were like, oh, uh, yeah, let's let's wait. And or I don't want to put it out until, you know, the 13th or 14th. I said, yeah, that's fine. Um, also, some of them are pretty incredible so uh mm. I'm, I'm i would almost be worried if some of these came out early that it might like deter other people um so we'll see we'll see you had a, you had a pretty good one we looked at a couple of weeks back 
but these these other ones are they're up there as well yeah a lot of them are very very good um mm, i think nice. ones that came out a couple weeks ago i really like odin's i think o odin's came out quite good um and uh it's actually putting me in a weird spot because i'm like I can imagine a lot of these as being something past what I'm offering. So it's like, you know, I've, I, there's really only two slots. There's a front cover and a back cover. Mm -hmm. And, but some of them it's like, well, it might not be good for either, but I could maybe use it for something else. Um, so, you know, I, and right now I'm, I'm doing a gallery in the back. Um, but I, I might have to ask some of these guys if they'd be interested, if I could, uh, you know, put it in a, uh, trading cards or something like that, you know, cause I, I don't want it, you know, it's free work. Right. So I don't want them to feel like they, they worked for nothing. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, yeah. We'll and especially if the, the art is good. Like you, you want to use it. Like you don't want to have great right, art right. and just leave but, it sitting there doing nothing forever. Yeah. And, and unfortunately the budget for this contest is over. Like there's no mm. more money coming in for it. So it's just like, yeah, well, uh, you know, again, when we get to that, I'll ask and see how things how things turn out. That's really cool. Some of the pieces are incredible. Like they really came out uh, and and gave their all on them. So it, it would be a shame to not be able to do anything with it. Yeah, I mean, again, absolute worst case scenario, they end up in the gallery. Um, cause the gallery is looking really good, but, uh, uh, still, you know, you, you want to hope like you want to be able to really highlight some of the really good ones and be like, okay. Cause I, I even thought about using one of them as like a puzzle. Um, cause it would be a really fun puzzle and, uh, some of them possibly as just the print. Cause I have to, I, have, you know, one the shoe box is going to come with a print. So maybe one of them I can use as a print. Um, what's his name? Uh, Shant is doing an amazing uh, uh, painting. So like, you know, I'd, I'd have to see if that's something that um, I could use for something if he doesn't get the cover. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of really great entries. It's almost a, it's almost a good problem, but it's, it's tough, you know, cause you know, you gotta, you gotta pick something. So. Uh, who's doing the judging? Is it just you or are you having other people do it? Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to pick for the trade, like the main, the grand prize. And then for the second prize, um, I'm going to pick three that I like, and then I'm going to, uh, put it in the chat and the chat is going to be able to vote on which one they like the most. And that's going to win. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at some of them now. Yeah. The last one we looked, looked at was from, uh, how how comics alan alonzo that was amazing this one this one here yeah oh yeah we've had a lot of entries since then like that yeah that mm. one's pretty terrific i like that one a lot he got everyone in there um but then like uh peter orchard is doing a triptych and that it's actually very similar in concept um mm -hmm. and that one looks like dynamite as well you know, that's, that's an issue too, where it's like, he's doing a triptych and it's like, well, for a trade cover, that's difficult unless I do three trades. So, yeah. you know, um, and then it doesn't, you know, the company I go with, I'm pretty sure they don't do gatefolds because I do everything as hollow foil anyway. So I don't want to do a gatefold hollow foil that wouldn't, that wouldn't work. So yeah. Yeah. Just a lot, a lot to think about. And then like, um, hyper wizard is doing uh what is he he said he might not finish it well he definitely won't finish it but he's doing a seven cover piece it's all seven issues combined that's insane and so he's doing it he said for fun and for exposure and i'm like all right bro <laughs> i'm game of your game so um but that you know that probably won't be done till i would say like mid-year at this point but uh you know i'll definitely we'll be pushing uh that when he's done with it again i don't even know what i can use it for yet but you know it's it's really cool to have these guys coming out who are really excited about you know because a lot of them were telling me like i like the characters i like the designs the story they get it 
Um, you know, it's, it's a, it's an easy pitch. And, uh, you know, so I guess a lot of people are motivated because of that. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Uh, you got what, 12 days left. It ends on the 14th. Ends on the 14th. And then we'll either do a show that night, which would be a Saturday, or we'll do a Sunday show, um, where we decide who's going to win. Uh, what I'll probably do is, uh, ask as many people as possible, um, you know, to be on the show, like if they had their stuff in it, uh, or, you know, is, if I know that they're going to be a final person, like a, one of the final entries, uh, it'll be kind of like the Oscars. Well, <laughs> I'll be like, and the nominee goes to, and then we'll zoom in on people's face and, and, uh, we'll get that. What's their disappointment? <laughs> that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Working on the boobs, Mike. Yeah, just trying to give them a nice, uh, voluptuous, uh, round appearance, I suppose. Mobig of... says, with the upcoming inflation, exposure will be the new gold standard. I want. I are you kidding? I mean, maybe, maybe you're right. He's always he's always trying to sell exposure. Yeah. Exposure is good. I hate getting paid in exposure books, though. I mean, I, I just... Yeah, I, I never know where to cash them in. Yeah, I mean, I, I I have always found that exposure books work best when I don't know that they're working for me. When suddenly I get, like, an email, like, hey, I saw you on this stream, or I saw you doing this. Like, would you be interested in doing something? But... I don't. I don't really get a lot of requests personally anymore because people know how much I got. Work I'm I got a uh, inquiry um, when after my first book launched. I got an inquiry from a really massive YouTuber um, if I wanted to draw their book, and I was just like, "Oh, there's no. I mean, I can do a thing here and there. There's no way I could do a whole book for you. It's just who was it? I don't want to say. Hmm. I'll tell you privately." Um, yeah, it would have been you You've know, told us. I, I know, but like I'm not gonna yeah. say it if you don't want me to. Um and that was yeah, that was that was you know, but that that was more like you just getting seen around. I don't know exactly where they saw me, but uh yeah, you know, I I was doing a bunch of I think it really helped. I did what Hyper Wizard did when I first launched my channel. I you know, did a bunch of uh that's how I kind of met Rob actually. I, I drew ghost. You did. Um so yeah, it, it, I think I think it works well. I mean, but at, at, you know, at some point you do have to sort of say, "All right, it's time." Like I saw, uh, I think it was RBI Studio. I was like, after this, I've really got to focus on my own stuff. And that's just mm. like, I would love to take part in this competition, but you know, I'm just you couldn't so much though, really, you, you could you couldn't really enter this competition. I don't think like it, it wouldn't be Why? fair. It'd be biased. I would enter no, in as I'm not sooner. biased at all. I, I have absolutely uh, look if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. Mm. Because also, you know, in the end of the day, um I'm I'm looking at what I think is gonna move books. And so if I even if I'm best friends with you and I don't think your cover is gonna move books, like sorry, bro, but it, I, I can't sell it based off of just the fact that I'm friends with someone. It has to, and that's why, like, especially the second prize, I'm leaving up to the chat. You know, it's like, what do you, what do you guys actually think is good? So, Bo Big says, "I'll spill the beans." It was Chris Chan. <laughs> it was Elon. It wasn't Chris Chan? Yeah, it was Elon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, "Hey, I want you to do the comic of my new, uh, I don't know, God Emperor meme." I just said, "Sorry, Elon." Too busy, bro. I like this character here. She's she's cool. Oh, high heels, yeah. Yeah, I like that one. I I liked Mike. I I liked the gleam you had in Billy Sprite's eyes, but then you changed it. It's like digital. Or it's like jagged. No, that was the same. Um, I haven't changed it. Uh, I might just not have zoomed in yet. Uh, that here, you're talking about up here? Yeah. That is supposed to be this. 
So with these lights here. But uh, I mean, oh. I can knock that off. That's fine. We'll see how it goes. I mean, a lot of this stuff is preliminary, so I see. Okay. And anything, anything you, you will like want to change, just let me know. I'll just like nick it off. Well, like I liked it before, but if you if you have a reason for it, I need to see it with the reason now. Yeah. 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 That's fair enough. Are you working on anything, Camel, or not? I'm actually doing my own colors. I'm finally covering this lava foil cover. Oh, I can show it, I guess. Let me cool. Bring it up. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. There you go. Oh, so, yeah, you nice. know, I, I had just done the flats, but now I need to go in and actually, actually do the right colors. I'm going to try to get this done as well for the uh, January 14th show. Do you, do you think like those those covers like the the foils and the chromiums and all that re really increase people's chances of, of back in the campaign? Do you guys uh, think that? I would say it's a wash because I know that there are people who are like, oh well, the the book is too expensive because you know of the foil, right? Because I'm not offering uh, a regular edition. Maybe I will on another campaign, like a second or third chance or something. Um, because, like, you look at um, who's the dude who just launched uh, Literature Devil, right? Uh, he has about the same amount of money made, but he has almost twice the backers. And that's because he's offering, you know, like a um, more mainstream version of the print. You know, it's not like that Lux version. And so, like, yeah, I'm pr I'm definitely probably um, losing backers because it's, you know, there's not, like, a, a cheaper option. However, I think I've gained, on the other side, a good amount of backers that are like, oh, but I like it because of the, the Lux quality to it. So, I mean, because our, our average backer count is almost, I'm not backer count, but um, amount per backer is about twice as much as a, a regular campaign. So I think yeah, uh, Boots and Heels is at like 120 per, per backer. Um, whereas a lot of these campaigns are at about 60 bucks. So, you know what? I don't know. I think the value comes actually more when you get the book and the value will be seen on the following. They're like, oh, I didn't realize it was going to be this cool. And they just get that feeling and then they're like, yeah, oh, well, oh, this is cool. Well, you know, I'll, I'll definitely um, you know, check out whatever he does next. If it's going to be like this, uh, I think, I think you're going to get a lot of that happening. Let's go with my pen here. Was it Eric July, Mike? That's what Chad is saying. Uh, Eric July, Gary, uh, Mo says, Bancroft barely had time, time to draw a Sonichu test page. Uh, before well let's just say the project was delayed indefinitely i'm sure there's a that's a very funny joke i don't know what sonichu is um no guys think of the timeline here okay my uh my book came out in like what 2021 dude what we're, we're not thinking that's not the point of the show oh okay sorry rob's bad at it mm -hmm. that is exactly accurate I don't want to do anything I can't do. So. Yeah, exactly. How is it all going? We haven't been hearing much about Replicator. I saw some of your uh, test pages for the other book, but how's the uh, how's Replicator 4 going? Well, the yeah. members did. Sorry, your members. I mean, everyone else didn't. Yeah, well, no, it's going really good, man. I'm wa I'm waiting on the colorist to free up the same guy that did the uh, trading card. I want to see yep. how he goes with with doing an actual page from the book, and if he's if he nails it, he's probably going to do the book. Because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, they're the best colors I've seen for a while I on my stuff. Nailed it. Yeah, so. I remember. I thought it was Shelby's. That's how good it was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I rate Shelby as one of the best. So, um, yeah, if you could snag him and he's, you know, really good on the, well, I mean, we've seen people who are really good on the, on the, um, on the pinups before not be able to manage a page for some reason. 
yeah but, uh, i'm sure he will be able to I, I i was the techniques that he showed off in that on those cards is like this person knows what they're doing yeah so i'm just waiting on that really we've got a ton of pages done though man there's so many pages we've got probably like 30 pages 35 pages are done um so it's just getting some colored for the campaign and then going from Hang on, how many how many pages is the book oh it's gonna be it's probably gonna be 48 all of the they've been they've been 28 or That's 32 new. yeah dude i mean this one is this is this is like this is the one this is the the big one the replicator happens there's so much violence in this edition it's just gonna be so much fun um so yeah i can't wait yeah good I don't know what's happening. When are you doing the giveaway sign-up page, Bancroft? You know, the thing you've been promising me for like four months? You know that thing? Really soon. Really soon. Does that satiate you? No, not really. I mean, t tomorrow? Is tomorrow what... Is, is that what you're saying? Um... What I'm hearing. Probably this week, yeah. Okay, cool. Get it, get it knocked out. What's happening? Why isn't... What's not working here? Something's not working. What? What's Screen? going on? I don't know. I'm trying to do a thing here. Uh, normal. Okay. What if I just do copy this? Ah, it's probably, I see what's going on. Okay, good. It was just the color. Can I get on the outside? Uh, Lethal Deer says, inside. is this another one of those, if you win, you have to give Bancroft stuff kind of thing? No, it's going to be, it's going to be this sick, huge giveaway that we're going to do. We use a spinning wheel. There's heaps of creators involved, but we need to get it This is up. why the spinning wheel actually exists. Yeah. It's what we made it for. Yeah. I found a new better so, purpose though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've we've figured something out about it though. It's very strange. We, I've it discovered its magic power. powers. <laughs> <laughs> uh but you know, well, yeah. Essentially, we're all doing original art. Um when I say all, you have the list there, Rob, of people. Oh, um, off the top of my head, it's like Phil, Rainey, Joe Sontag, um, Clint, Eric Weathers, I think, uh, Camel, Bancroft, I think Crackhead's in it. There's heaps of people. Uh, uh, Shelby's in it. So it's going to be an absolute banger of a giveaway. Uh, I can't wait to do it. It's going to be heaps of fun. Maybe I'll do a page of hands. Oh, mm. I hope... <laughs> you imagine? Oh, I get the big... Oh. Spin again, please. <laughs> Spin again. Oh, shit. That would suck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought this was, a, this was a giveaway contest, not a throwaway. <laughs> imagine if that was the first prize someone won. It'd just be so disappointing. Um, D has a, he's got a question. He says, you're going to fix the wheel. That's the thing. I, I, I've got, I've got a board, right? I've got a, I've got a foam board right here and I can put it on the fan and it actually spins. But Bancroft, is that what we want? Do we want, do we want a, a wheel that works properly or do we want? But you haven't even tried out the wheel with, you know, the bits on it. So try that out first i reckon mm. uh, and see how that works because you know your finger it's not the most unbiased of um techniques <laughs> so let's try out like put the nails on get the rubber thing going because that'll that'll actually that'll hopefully 
deal with the bias that exists mm. in the unbalanced wheel. I mean, that's the and thing, then, though. Like, if we do it that way, th there's no there's no button to press that spins it. It's just going to be me spinning it. Yeah, I mean, because I think that, that, I mean, look, I wouldn't, the wheel is magic. I don't know if you want to mess with the with the mojo. Yeah, I agree. I'm, that's why I'm, I'm conflicted. Yeah. Marby Dog points out, the finger technique is important. We can't trust Rob with the finger technique, Marby Dog. Mm. We have to, we have to... I mean, these are legit. I mean, some of these pieces, if Rini is involved, her her original art goes for a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, you know, I won't be putting in that kind of effort. But, you know, still, I'll, I'll give you something that you would prefer to have than not have, at least. I, I hope. Uh, we don't want it to be, like, super shady. So... Is it worth doing a poll? Ask the chat if we should keep the original no, wheel. No, not at this stage. Put Rob, how long is it going to take to put some friggin' nails on that thing? I mean, the nails aren't the problem. It's how to get their little thing at the top that does the thing work. You know, the you're little... Gonna put, uh, you're going to have to put a your thinking cap on, Rob. I know, right. And, uh, you know, get a bit of engineering going. Redneck engineering, Bogan engineering, Mike. Bogan engineering. Connect it up. And uh yeah, see how you go. There's no real other way around it. Hmm. I like I like this character. You've said that. I, I'm not surprised. Why do you like this character? There's something about her that just it sticks out how right in front of you. How shallow face. are you? Are you this shallow that you're obsessed with women's boobs and that's all you can think about? I I actually well, like I the color of her know. hair uh, and her gloves and her boots. I mean, I think it's cool. Of course you do. You like blue-haired women. I mean, it all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> blue-haired land whales. Yeah, they're my yeah. favorite. I, I, you know... She was blue haired before that was the thing. She was actually based off a girl I knew when I was in college that I was kind of in love with. Um, and she she dyed her hair blue back before people were dyeing their hair blue. So that was not uh, that was not the intent. There's no SJW in this year. Yeah, I did the same thing. I had a character who's goth. And, you know, so I gave her a traditional goth haircut, which is to uh, shave both sides of your hair, uh, yeah. your head. And then that became the, like, mental illness thing. And I'm like, well, I'm not changing it. It's, it was part of her oh, character. Yeah. I still think it looks cool history. and it fits, you know, the character, so. Use trading cards to mark where the wheel stops. Yeah, you could, I guess. Yeah, but like, it's, the point like, is how do you bike? get it? Yeah, yeah. Now, that's fine. I, I think that's easy enough. It's how do you get a rig to get the trading card sitting up there and holding on, mm. uh, you know, for when it's... Because it's, when when Rob spins it, it it goes. It, it You know, there's there's a lot of um talk you know it's going to be exerted onto that under that card so it can't just be you know put up with sticky tape and blue tack it has to actually be connected to something solid he's got his he's got his uh you know but this is rob's idea so he's gonna have to come through i'll be honest i, I thought it'd be easier than what it than what it has been so far and we're not even halfway done so yeah there's that i believe actually you. rob you'll you like this it. the girl that i based uh the blue hair on uh that's the matrix girl <laughs> no get out yeah. of town <laughs> yeah holy shit it Thank all comes me. full circle Wow. Oh my god. So you guys are buying a piece and of So she was actually history. in love with you. 
No, I was in love the with Matrix. her. Yeah, but she came back to you, didn't she? Was she, didn't she the one that drove for like four hours to come see you, or was that a different girl? Uh, that, well, yeah, but that was, she didn't, she didn't drive. She took the train. Uh, cause you know, either I way she traveled. I know. I, I look, I messed it up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. You know, I mean, I, even as now 20 something years later, I don't know what the fuck I did wrong. <laughs> I don't, you know, so. Could probably does it, does it haunt you at night? Well, when you're laying in bed, you just go, fuck. I, wow. yeah, it does. I, I, yeah. I know this sounds stupid, but like, I think that happens to a lot of guys, at least mm -hmm. guys. I don't know about girls, but I just like, I do wake up in a sweat thinking like, God, I was a cringy fuck. <laughs> yeah. Fuck wrong with me? <laughs> I was just like, why would I ever say that? I, I almost think that a lot of behavior that happens by guys in their thirties and forties is trying to make up for how fucking retarded they were growing up. Uh, Jasper says, Rob, have you tried to spin the wheel with a motor on and see how long it spins for before it stops? Dude, this, it gets, with the foam board, it gets crazy because the, the, the hole's not in the center. So the thing's like trying to take off. I, I showed the guys the other day. It was, it's pretty crazy. You know, I just, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at yours, Mike. I feel like mine could connect to yours. <laughs> I, I like, it could be the piece on the far, on the far left. Yeah. It's kind of weird. You should make that happen. I could make that happen. Maybe I will. I accidentally, uh, colored over the top of their hair the only problem is is that this one has a very clear focus of like where the you know like the perspectives line is and then like to have this on the side of it would be like what kind of weird photo is this where there's no there's two focal points Yeah, see, I don't, I don't even know how you make this work, Mike, because like it's on the back of a fan. So how do you attach the thing? Well, you attach something to the back of the fan. Yeah. Yeah, but what that you though? can, some, like uh, something that you can stick a pole that goes up from the back. Yeah, and then it goes up and f and towards the wheel. Yeah. And from that, you attach something that comes down that flicks, but it's got to be strong. It's got to be stable. It's got to be able to take a flick, uh, you know, well, thousands of flicks at at high speed. Thousands mm. of high speed flicks. <laughs> this is a sounding a little bit lewd. Um, D has a good D has a good question. He says, "Do you have a backup plan if the wheel dies? Redundancy is very important in engineering." Is correct. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even strong, have strong, a... stable, a sturdy rod, perhaps. Yes, a sturdy rod, exactly. I, I didn't even have a plan if the if the wheel succeeds, D. So I mean, I don't have a backup plan if for if it fails. Hmm. Schneely, hello, darling. Thought the wheel was done. Thought that was the end. Uh, the end game. <laughs> You're not getting out of it that easy. So how much longer do you have on this piece, Bancroft? It kind of feels like you haven't really made much progress. I mean, I'm just throwing well, that out. because I haven't been working on it. Well, I mean, there you go. Thanks. That's why. Thanks. Of being um, otherwise indisposed. Well, you know, it was Christmas. I got really, I got really busy with day job stuff too, which always, you know, 
is a thing. But uh, we've uh, we've got a good good two weeks now until the, until the big show. So yeah, I, I feel like uh, Mike's right. Like the last two months, actually, for me, the last six months have been just. It's been every day has been like a episode of twenty four. I'm like, oh god, just there's too much. I can't between mm. the campaigning. Um, fulfilling yeah you know, i still have one batch left to go out for fulfillment that's the one that's i'm sending to australia and uh you know getting art done running the contest getting the shows done starting new shows it's a fucking nightmare and then you know on top of that just life right so christmas and um talking you know, to your wife and talking to my wife yeah i know <laughs> so, every day with this She's, she wants to talk every day can you believe that I know, so, right? Crazy. Uh, yeah, it's like I finally feel like things have kind of settled down a little bit, and um, it's it's kind of nice and relaxing. Well, I was still, you know, I set up the website and everything. Uh, had to do that cover, obviously. You know, I was sort of playing a playing around with a potential cover for Painted Death. Uh, I was working on this. Uh, a lot of stuff. I just, I just realized, shit. I haven't been working on pages in a month, and I'm supposed to be. This is supposed to be the time that I'm working on it as well. I'm like, I just really wanted to, you know, spend uh, a few days just focusing on my book, just a sort of, just a sort of bit of mental clarity and kind of, you know, feeling good about it. And uh, that's why, you know, I, I did all the Ella heads. I did uh, the hands. I did a whole bunch of layouts. Um, you know, you know what makes me realize it's like, oh, I, I really want, would love to work full time. <laughs> <on my own. laughs> yeah. Like the amount of stuff I could get done. It's scary compared to what I have available to me. Uh, having the, you know, the it, that's job, like. You know? That's a trap, though, because I'm in that position where I do crowdfunding 100%. Yeah. If I'm not doing the show, I'm doing my, my comic. If I'm not doing my comic, I'm campaigning. And if I'm not campaigning, then I'm, you know, getting ready for the next cartoon I'm going to do. And you, you're you like, oh, I have all this extra time. No, you just end up taking on more stuff. That's mm. true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's been so long now that I've been doing this Um you know, working before work and after work, uh, I can, even if it just, even if it added another four hours of drawing to my day, it would make a massive difference uh, to my output. So um, I definitely would, you know, if I was full time, you better believe I would have like probably daily videos or something like, I would do something silly like that. Uh, but I, w I, st I still think my output would really Rob, uh, check your email. All right. Sean, Sean Fear says Camel does cartoons. I don't know if you're being serious, but yeah, I did that. There was a cartoon that was pretty big around these parts called Hail Salad. I did that last uh, two years ago. And then that was like my campaign was for that. That was my first campaign. People don't so. know, man. People don't know. Like when they, Sean might be watching like Hal Salad and just not know, you know, that's. Well, the that's irony the is that now people know me as the boots and heels guy, whereas for a year and a half or two years, people didn't even know I could draw. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. Nolan it's says, I would snuff out, out anybody the, that the wheel tells me to at this point. <laughs> that. That's great. The wheel, as the wheel commands. It really does. Uh, I, don't, I don't appreciate that kind of loyalty, Nolan. What, what's that all about? The wheel he's loyal commands. To, he's loyal to the wheel, <laughs> not to wheel, Camel not, anymore. Not, not Camel. <laughs> That's some bullshit. That is so The wheel funny. is broken. We need a new wheel. As the, wheel, the wheel. as the wheel <laughs> wills it. That's the it same, feels, Rob. It's 
so hilarious. As the wheel wills it. It feels like some magic uh, o- object out of like a Conan movie. <laughs> yeah. The wheel. Really does. <laughs> All hail the wheel. <laughs> The, the, the wheel, wheel is starts good. A the YouTube wheel is channel. great. Surrender your will as of this date. <laughs> the the wheel starts a YouTube channel and Nolan just super chats it. <laughs> it has like two hundred fifty thousand subs overnight. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what the fuck is that? Oh god. He says, Nolan says, sorry, I lost myself for a second there. Yeah, it, it literally does put you in a trance. It's like, <laughs> it has called me. It has called my name. It's I must come forth. <laughs> oh, look, there's even, a, there's, <laughs> there's even a, an, a, an emoji for it. The wheel is the CG superhero. Uh, oh, it doesn't come up in the thing. It's too new, but uh, you can see it in the chat. Oh, that's the wheel. cool. Fantastic. Uh, Mike, I watched, uh, we watched Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Me and my wife, she hadn't seen it. Classic. She hadn't seen it. She hadn't seen it. And, you know, it's funny too. She's younger, right? And so she's just like, this is so 90s Hollywood. I was like, yes, but that's why it was so good at the time, you know? Oh, it's still good. I love it. I mean, is it? Oh, you know, I mean, we enjoyed it. It took us three sittings, though. We can't watch movies in one sitting anymore. Why? You don't have kids. What are you complaining about? Well, because I I get tired. (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) I gotta go to bed. You know, like, because I I gotta be up to be on this stupid thing on this show. Camel's getting tired. I am. Oh, well, I, I said. No, I, to... I am noticing I'm getting a lot more tired than I ever have. Before. Yeah, I don't know I what it is. That. You hit 40 and just the it's energy age. level. Like, yeah. yeah, I got to I got to I got to suck down freaking Coke Zeros just to be able to stay up to, you know, draw my book. What? Mm, yeah. Coke Zero. So good. He's so good. It's very addicting. Yeah, so I, you know, I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I, I, I get tired. I'll, I'll say this though. I can fall asleep in a chair now, which I never used to be able to do, oh. which is quite great. It's <laughs> awesome, just, isn't it? I'm like this. Just, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've still never done it. <laughs> Christmas Day. It's... Mel can confirm this. Christmas Day, uh, t- 30 minutes after lunch, I just sort of mosey on over to the couch at my dad's place. I sit down and I just do this. <laughs> yeah like it used to make a difference when, out. like i needed like my head needed to be no it doesn't make a difference anymore just out like i'm gone <laughs> and my wife is like why don't you just come to bed and i'm like well yeah but i could just sleep here <laughs> <laughs> i'm still not picking up on the signals you know woman is telling him to come to bed oh, what, what, why i could just sleep here what's the She's like What's half naked. <laughs> She's in lingerie. Yeah, yeah. Got well, rose, I, I'm sleeping got already. Why are you mouth? waking me up? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I want to play the Matrix. I'm like, that's 20 years old, babe. <laughs> no one does that anymore. Yeah, like I, I have noticed that I, I look forward to going to bed a lot more than I used to. It's like, the, the greatest thought thing of- ever. The thought of getting to lay down is just so, oh, so great. <laughs> yeah. Does your guys' wives sleep as easily as you? Yeah, I'm... kind of, if she wants to. Yeah, because Mel doesn't. Like, I'm, I'm out. You know, I'm head on the pillow, gone. That's it. And uh, I don't know. It seems like it seems like a male thing. I don't know. Like, women tend to think and worry about stuff i don't really what are you gonna do with that mask mike 
same thing I did with these masks. You don't need much, just a little rim light on it. But, I mean, this is pre-lighting. So, I don't know. Are the other masks shiny, Camel? Are they matte finish? I always imagined they were just not quite chrome. But, you know, like, they're not mirrors. Maybe yeah. like a pearlescent. You know, they just... Yeah. They're not matte, that's for sure. If but. if they're... If they're like, well, that's how I've colored them. So, yeah, that that's not matte. If it was matte, yeah, it would yeah. just be... So, like, that's the sort of, if it's, like, pearlescent or, like, has some sort of coating on it, that's something I would do in the lighting, in the sort of special effects. Yeah, I um, like, so heel, like, high heels, that's actually gold. So, like, you could make that reflective and whatever. Yeah. In fact, it's the same gold that is on Robust. There you go. Hmm. Nolan is 31. D is 46. Philbo is 53. That's true, Nolan. I, I remember when I, the first day I woke up, I was 30 years old and everything hurt. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Mm. What is this? They, they tell you that, but you didn't. I didn't realize how true it was. I'd just sort of, I was like two years out of quitting rollerblading. So I was still quite fit at that age. Um, I didn't start feeling it until mid thirties odd. I actually, we went to new year's. We went to a friend's place. We always go there and, um, oh, damn it. I want to, uh, I want to show you guys some photos. He brought out a, um, he brought out a, a photo album. And it had all these old photos of me from back in the uh, in the nineties. This is gonna be. Just I wanted to show thing. you guys. I got to turn on. I got to turn on my Wi-Fi. So if I get potato cam, I apologize. Did, do you, did you have long hair? No, it's not that old. Oh, it's sort of like 90, 96, 90, no, maybe 97, 98, uh, sort of era, maybe, maybe ninety. Yeah, no, maybe 97. I don't know. But I, I didn't know. I, it longer than this, you know. Uh, all right. Let's uh, download. It's my rollerblading days. They're my rollerblading shots. I want to show you guys that rollerblading is not gay. It's awesome. And it's making a massive comeback, actually. We are with gay people. <laughs> no. It's actually becoming really big again i mean i'm not so yo-yos but well yo-yos come back every few years i wish rollerblading did that it's taken like uh what when was rollerblading big in the early 90s it's taken 30 years what was it ever really big it was massive Rob. rollerblading started the x games that's why the X Games happen. <laughs> Philbo says, I hear the hardest part of rollerblading is telling your parents you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never heard that joke before, ever. <laughs> I've never heard it. <laughs> great. Fantastic. Ooh, Chrome. Open them. I wonder. Let's have a look. Let's see if that opens them. I don't think it will. I bet Camel had a yo-yo. Now, you know, every time I tell my wife about something about Mike, she's like, does he just make up his backstory? Like he's a poker player? <laughs> I, I have, I I have an interesting life. Like, whose, whose dad is a like, pilot. <laughs> <I was like>. <laughs> <laughs> Flew first class to uh, Switzerland. Yeah, he gets, years, one gets all year, of his yeah. teeth done in Malaysia or something. I was like, yeah, mm. I don't know. I did, I did, yeah. That is true. Lives they have great, they have great uh, dentals. I don't know if it was Malaysia or Thailand. I can't remember, but they do have good dental over there. And it's cheap. Dirt cheap. Um, all right. Uh, let me just save this. I don't want to wreck it. Uh, no, I. you can never lie on the stream. Don't make anything up because... People will remember. They'll come back and, and haunt you. Uh, okay. 
Here we go. So these are all skating shots. Some of them you can see my face, and they're photos of photos. So whatever. All right. So there's me getting flat. That's uh, that's down at Vermont Ramp. Oh yeah, that's definitely you, Mike. Yeah, definitely. Mm. It's a little blurry. Mm. Mm. It's a little conveniently enhance. Can we enhance, please? It looks like one of those <laughs> alien spaceship photos. It is conveniently blurry. I was so thrilled when I got these pads. They were called primates. They went out of sale for about 10 years. And then some, some then they started making them again. I was over the moon. Uh, all right, next one. I mean, some of these you'll be able to see me a bit better. There you go. That's me. Is it though? What are you talking about? You can see me. Yeah, no, that I looks like you. Beard. Did you ever break anything? Oh, yeah. I broke my wrist about, oh. I mean, well over a your dozen head? times. Did you break your dad's heart when you said you were gay? <laughs> Mike, what, what is, what's going on? Can you zoom in on your head? Because, like, you, you've kind of got, you've kind of got, like, your chin... And then yeah. what's your ear doing? What do you mean what's it doing? It's existing it's like, where it is. It's like all the way out here. Where's the back of your head? Like where's the side part? Like the where is this it? This is uh this is a, a fish eye, by the way. Well not not quite fish eye. I think it's about twenty-four. Um what's that number on a lens? Uh the millimeter. 24 millimeters. So it doesn't quite bend. Yeah. But yeah. it's it's pretty wide angle. So anything up there is getting stretched out. That's probably what's happening there. This is called a uh this is a newer trick. I think it was invented in like the late 90s called a farfig nugan. And they ended up just calling it a, a nugan. Uh I did Nolan noticed my wrists. I do like weird wrist things when I skate. There's a photo later where I'm like, all right, and it's the origin of the ginger root hand. It's the limp wrist is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something <laughs> like some people do the tongue, you know, or whatever. I did the weird wrist thing. Actually, a lot of people did that. Uh, all right, next one. Uh, that's a mute invert. That's not, even, that's not even you, dude. That doesn't even look like you. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Let's, uh, what, right I, I'm curious. What's going on with your pants? What do you mean? Dude, that does not they're look shorts. like you at all. Oh, those shorts. Short. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, those are the... Okay. I thought you had, like, a tear in your pants. I didn't realize those were... These were your pads. Okay. Those are my skate shorts, and then my primates. That's just, that was during my... Uh, I think they were called Aragons, those skates. Uh, I got these. Actually, I got these pads here in Switzerland. These elbow pads. Cool. Uh, I mean, I was... Probably, you'd see that awkward teenage phase. I was probably 17 years old there, 16, 17. Did you get laid? I was very good at being this. a skater punk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There were uh, chicks who would hang out, and uh, yeah, yeah, totally. No, for Where real. Where they, though? Where they? Like, seriously? Yes. Really? I mean, come on, like, really, oh, though? God. Fatty. <laughs> they were all fun. Uh... <laughs> that's a, uh, that's called a unity grab. That's at Vermont as well. That's about like three foot air, I reckon. How did we? How did we start talking about rollerblading again? Like, how did we get? To oh, this? that one there. See that? Uh, see, this was a lot clearer in the actual photo. You could. Pr I, I took this on because you could actually see my face, but it's so yeah. full of shit. This is such a lie. What are you talking about? What's a lie? Th these aren't you. I mean, clearly, if they were you, the photos would be clear and we could see your face. No, they, yeah, they all look like uh, you just watched that ring video and <laughs> all your faces are just a little blurred. <laughs> oh, look, and this one, we can't even see your head. <laughs> that was a, uh, that's a big, that's a big, um, like uh it's not like a unity cross grab 720 that's a that's a big trick i remember that that was probably like a highlight of my whole skating career captured right there oh you uh, sure i never it's a, you sure it's not a didgeridoo flipper 220 no it isn't we're just making up words uh check out that one again i'm right, I right mean... up there 
get your knees obstructing your face again. With on the only oh, there we go, there we go. There's the wrist. There's the wrist. So look, I'm wearing my same t-shirt. I mean, is that you? Like seriously? <laughs> that you? <laughs> That's what I told you. That's what my hair looks like when I grow it out. It's very wavy and. I told you, remember I told you people used to call me uh, Pacey from uh, Dawson's Creek. What people? <laughs> people, some people. There's a dog. That's uh, That dog's name is Quinn. Uh, we were hanging out with Quinn on New Year's. Uh, what's this last one here? Oh, look, here's me in a magazine. That's yeah, but that doesn't look you like you. Is that the magazine that you printed, though? <laughs> no. Who? What does Adam say? I'm a hardcore street skater from Perth, which is a great place to skate, but there are not many ramps around, and few that we that we hear were torn down. The only places we skate now are schools, but if we found, we get done for trespassing. Well, that happens. Uh, I mean, yeah, of course that's me. Let me rotate you around. Look oh, at me yeah. looking. It doesn't help. Really? That's me. That's my first and only ever appearance in a in a magazine. What well, happened when... to you? I got old. That's me at probably like 16, 17. Rob, when you get a chance, if you want to show my screen, um, mm -hmm. people don't know this. I used to be an Olympic skater <laughs> or Olympic skier, mm. actually. Yeah. Uh, this is me here. Uh, you know, it's hard to see, but that's definitely me. Uh, also me, this one, um, you just have to trust that it's me. Uh, and then oh, <laughs> this here, this one's really hard to see, but that's me as well. <laughs> so. What? I, you know, I believe you, you know, the reason why I believe you. It's yeah. Why is the, that? Photos are, the photos are clear. <laughs> see, I'm not trying to hide anything. Exactly. <laughs> People want to know how I got crippled. <laughs> these were these were SLR photographs from the nineties, taken yeah. while we're doing <laughs> high speed maneuvers. Yeah, it's yeah. not like super crisp uh, professional photography. I'll have you know, I was invited twice. Here we go to go and compete in the uh, X Air in Wellington, New Zealand. That's an international competition. All right? But you didn't, did you? I did. I went there twice. I had a lot of fun. Oh. Random task. Do you have, Campbell do you have is photos? so humble for not sharing these. <laughs> do I have photos? Hmm. I've got videos. Oh. Do you want me to show you one of the videos, Rob? I, I don't know. I really don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to show it to you anyway. Nolan says, wow, well, Camel, you sure are humble for an Olympian. Yeah, well, you know, it's not my true passion. I, I prefer comics and doing YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> like, well. he was he was world-class skier, but he didn't enjoy it. That's the story of Camel. <laughs> you know how many gold Olympic medals I have? <laughs> I mean, I, I have a whole fucking trunk of them in the back. I just got bored yeah. of them, so. Yeah. I can't find that. I can't find the video. Oh, isn't that convenient? <laughs> Campbell is a gold medalist. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't win anything in New Zealand. Uh, but I was there. <laughs> Lethal Diva goes, I've there? heard of the Olympics, so Campbell's story checks out. Well, thank you. So you need. You know what I need to do? Because my, my, my buddy Brad, he put up like four videos onto YouTube that I put together of us skating, but uh, there's like, there was so many more than that. And he didn't put them up, but I've got to, I've got to put the old rollerblading tapes onto something that can actually play like your problem with the uh, Platooth game. You know, they're all stuck on yeah. old antiquated. But people actually want to see the Platooth game, Mike. I know. I really, Mike, we got to, we got to find a way to do it, but I can't play it on my system. I don't know if I want to put parallels back on. It was a, it was a, uh, for one night, <laughs> for one night only. I remember it being an absolute nightmare to just get it to run. Uh, maybe I can, 
Maybe I can. You should so put your rollerblades back on Bancroft and just skate around the town and stream it live. I still, I, I used to, I used to skate to work, uh, like before the pandemic, right before it, right up to it. That's how I used to get to work. Uh, I don't have the same kind of skates though. They're more like for just roll, you know, rolling around, not for not for being the hardcore vert skater that I was in my youth. Uh, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Stream. Yeah, but can we get back to the the drawing? I'm Colin? reopening it. All right. God, that guys, was, uh... I just can't appreciate the uh, you know sporting talent. It's a detour that, I... that no one wanted or needed. You know what's impressive about? Oh, you 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 lost it. But the picture I had up, um, I, I'm moving real fast. No blur. You know, mm. it's just bizarre. <laughs> now, uh, well, they're very good cameras. So that's uh -huh. like a telephoto lens on a very high, uh, obviously, shutter speed, but also uh, ISO, you know, like probably up 2,000 or something like that. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think uh, there was a Polaroid, <laughs> but <laughs> because it's real, <laughs> you know, there's, there's no uh, trickery, so. Ask Mel about my skating and what it smelt like. Yeah, because we want to hear more details about yeah, rollerblades. We want to hear about all that, yeah. Stench. Stench was real and unforgettable. If you could, Mike, if you could be the best in the world at one sport, would you choose rollerblading? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Who would? Well, I assumed you would. Why? Because you love the rollerblades. I did, but no, if I could be the, the literal best in the world at a sport. Mm. It'd have to be like baseball or football because you'd get the most ass being the uh, best. It'd, you know what it'd be? Golf. Yeah, golf, golf. too. Because I don't you can walk. play it until you're friggin' 80 <laughs> and yeah. make... They make it. They make as much money or more than you know, footballers and like they make serious money. Tennis as well. Like tennis, you really you capped out at about uh, forty. That's probably your limit. But football, as in as in soccer, that's your like you know. Once you're in your thirties, you're kind of done. And I don't want anything where I'm going to get brain damage. Probably golf. I enjoy playing golf. I like golf. We can Terrible. go to the um, uh, what do they have here? The Top Golf. You've been there. Top Golf? No, what's that? We have it here. It's it's pretty big in the states. Essentially, it's like there's like three tiers, and you just hit balls. But it's almost like oh, oh yeah 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 like the like a golf range yeah yeah yeah. But you get there's like different games you can play. It's like bowling. And like, see, so like, oh, that sounds aim cool. Yeah, certain... I've seen that in the movies. It's really fun. We do it whenever my wife's yeah. parents are in town. So we can go when you're here. I, I, I'll, yeah, we'll definitely do it. I haven't hit a golf ball in in 15 years, though. I mean, I'll probably struggle at it. But yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do that. I'm going to be so jealous when you two catch up and I'm not there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Golf cart vids, riding around. <laughs> Picking you, up like, what piece. sport would you be the best at, Rob? <laughs> Can you take take like a photo of me and like put it on a volleyball and like just drag it along behind the golf cart? Wilson. <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> uh, well, you guys say golf. I'm like, but I, I'm not. I'm not passionate about golf. I'll, yeah, I'll you choose like so it. soccer. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd go soccer, soccer or football. Yeah, soccer would be. There's a lot of accolades attached to soccer. I mean, you're sort of like. Everyone, everyone in the world knows the best soccer players. So uh, basketball would be awesome too. Like yeah. I reckon, be really cool being like the best basketball player. But would you look like you? Like <laughs> you know, you know, because all the best basketballers, are, you know, nearly seven foot and really slender yeah. and black. Uh, like, would you look like you just like you know being super agile doing these massive dunks and dude you know, i'd have funny. to be so amazing to overcome like the body size issues like just just that alone i'd have to be so good what about you camel what would you choose 
Oh, probably. I've thought of this. Uh, I think golf because you, you win a stupendous amount of money and then I get to ride a golf cart. It's kind of the dream. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in my life has come out. To being a golf to be a golf pro, <laughs> like being a golf pro is a legitimate job that thousands and thousands of people are, are just, you know, local golf pros and they make really decent money doing it. You know, like good wages, probably like a couple of hundred thousand a year or something. Just local golf pros. That's how much money is in that sport. And if you're if you're at the top, you're making gazillions for just walking around a course hitting a ball. It is it's a legit dream job. Mike, could you make the argument that poker is a sport? No, I don't think so. The sport it's needs to game. be like physically athletic, doesn't it? To, yeah, to qualify. No. It's a game. Just because it's on ESPN, I don't think it's a sport. It's like chess is not a sport. Blackjack is not a sport. Is I sex uh, a sport? being the best, being the best. What is a sport? Is sex? <laughs> <laughs> I guess for some people, they make a living off it. Uh, being the best poker player in the world, that would be. Interesting. I reckon it'd be a hard life, man. Being like a that's player. what I'm thinking about. It's like it's a lot of like crazy hours. You know, the yeah, best games always happen. The best games always happen over you know 15 hour time spans in at weird hours in Macau and yeah, it's like I mean the money would be amazing, but not for everyone because in poker is the only thing you do where you go to work and it's legit work you know you clock in you clock out and at the end of the hard, really hard day's work you might be down thousands of dollars yeah, so it's not it's not for everyone uh mason says what about esports they make bank esports that's another i mean yeah I, I don't know if i'd consider that a sport but yeah a game like yeah they make that's another fantastic job if you can get it but they don't have a long lifespan either bancroft because like all their wrists Head get free yeah no the wrists get all messed up and like wouldn't that once depend you hit, on the game yeah it does but i think you probably find the same sort of problem with with all games to some extent uh like once you start hitting your 30s you start going downhill so it's it's pretty short window i reckon I'm liking this hair, dude. It's looking good. Yeah, yeah you do fun. killer hair. It's not, it's not difficult, but it really is effective. Mm. Um, just you know, a little bit of highlights and here and there, and it's always, you know, like I've been an artist my whole life, and I feel pretty competent in pretty much anything and everything I can, like I could draw it if I need to draw this, I can figure it out. It's not hard. But it's always fun to see someone else's style and technique to do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, wow, that's, you know, like um, Narwhal. I picked up some really great coloring tips from watching one of his streams one day. And I was like, yeah. I would have never thought to do it like that. And I implemented it into the Hail Salad comic. Um, and so, yeah, it's always cool to see what other people come up with because you're like, oh, that that does look the way it should look or like, you know, it really, you know, the way you're making your hair look glossy like that looks really cool. Yeah. Back on the esports thing for a second. I like watching Starcraft two videos. I don't know why I just do. And they do like, they, they have like 600 actions per minute. So they're hitting the keyboard 600 times in one minute. Like that is, yeah, insane. that would take a toll. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I remember. I used to yeah, twelve. I used to twelve table um, poker, and I yeah, I used to think like, I wonder how long you can actually do this before it breaks your brain, because I I did hear that multitasking is not like fantastic for your mental. Like it kind of does wear out the brain. And you know, people would ask me like, how long do you actually play a day? And I'd be like, oh, probably about three hours. Oh, is that it? Why don't you do a normal shift? It's like you just can't. Not if you're not if you're multi-tabling. Um, 
and, and yeah at the same time yeah you're using a mouse so it's like for three or four hours straight imagine you got 12 tables going and you're clicking on every single one of them constantly 100 percent of the time just click 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 for three or four hours straight yeah it's a strain absolutely i believe that you know how you know how i ask like really just random questions of things i think about never, do you never heard of that rob when do when you have you done this oh yeah it's i know it's a new thing that i've come up it. with do you think right if you could travel back to let's say grade seven right right now with the brain and everything you've learned throughout your life you travel same back memories to, though same memories everything do you think that you could become the richest person in the world? Yes. I think quite easily. I mean, just invest in like Amazon before it's a thing and then just, or Apple or Tesla. Well, I don't know. Can you, can you buy Tesla stock? I guess you can. Um, yeah. Or you could just invest, you could, you could invest in things and then become a, like a venture capitalist on all these things that you know are going to be massive successes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it'd be even hard. if, I, even I if it's not think... stock options, it's even better because now you're like one of the founders. Yeah, yeah, you'd, you'd actually be quite stupid if you started over knowing everything and you still were <laughs> at the same spot after 25 years. You'd be like, what is wrong? Yeah, with like you? you like you would essentially you could essentially be, um, you know, like Biff from. Back to, mm. from uh, Back to the Future Two, where it's like all these big time investors like Warren Buffett and all these guys, like it, they they make bad investments, but it's just that they're over time their good investments outweigh their bad ones. But you don't have to make a single real bad investment, really. Uh, you know, you should you should be able to even things like Bitcoin. You could make an absolute killing. Oh, could you imagine Bitcoin? Yeah, get in when it's like ridiculously cheap and sell when invest it's like in cheap. you know invest in Saudi Arabia, uh, in the in the friggin' late eighties or something or early nineties, you know, in, in the industrialization of that country or you know, all sorts of things you could do that would just you know people just didn't predict. Remember in the in the late nineties, I was at school, I was at school at design school, and we we're all on Macs, and we we're like, oh, you know, we're gonna have to change to PCs. Apple's going out of business. It's going to be bankrupt any moment. It was like that for three years. We were expecting yeah. Apple to go under at any moment. And we were all on Macs. And then, you know, it became one of the biggest companies in the world. Like, didn't, didn't like one of the owners sell like a, a huge share in it for like a grand? And like that share would be worth like $60 billion or some crazy amount like that. Pretty sure that's a, a story Probably. that happened. Probably. I don't know. You how would you start stories. though, Mike? Though how how you would you start? Like, all the time, though. Yeah, well, you would start working. I mean, you're you're in what you're in grade seven. Yeah, yeah. you're young. I think, I think you're, you're allowed to you're allowed something. to work at that time. So you just start working any kind of job. You don't have to pay any rent. Save all your money and just start investing. I think within six months, you could probably, you know, have a real large amount of money. Mm. If you're smart about it, um, not saying that I would want to do that. Like that would suck. But yeah, you should be able to get pretty damn rich eventually, even if it takes you a couple of years. Uh, you know, but you have a long time. I mean, for me, that would put me back to 1993. So I got a lot of time before. Uh, like you could get in on the original tech boom. Remember the original website uh, bubble? Uh, yeah, well, the like dot com web, boom. The dot com bubble. You could get in on it and then get out before it bursts. I mean, you could make a bank. Uh, like, oh, there, the friggin', you could short the housing market in 2008. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's like you're right there. Like, find me that, who's that uh, Barry guy? You know, give him. Uh, 50 million dollars at that point you got till 2008 absolutely uh you would crush it uh yeah you know it, every every even if you don't really pay attention to this stuff every few months or so something would pop up that you could bet on or wager on or invest in 
And she's like, oh yeah, as long as you don't, as long as you don't, um, uh, as long as you don't affect history. See, that's the thing. Dale is like, yeah, thanks for stopping 9-11. Yeah, like, where do you like, because at one point you could become so rich that you actually start affecting the global economy in terms of, oh, who's who's Rob investing in this week, you know? Mm. Uh, you don't have to like do it once. It, like the Bitcoin guy, the guy who invented Bitcoin. People don't really know who he is or he like disappeared. Maybe he's a time traveler. Maybe he's like, I'm just going to make my money and get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're asking where are the time, like if time travel were real, where are the time travelers? Yeah, well, they're, they're everywhere. They don't, want they're, to, they don't want to get done for insider trading. Yeah, they're quiet. <laughs> Hey Rob, I, I, I'm just curious because did you read comics growing up? How did you get into this whole thing? Uh, yeah, my uncle had Judge Dredd and the Phantom. Uh, that they're the only comic books I read. That's all all that I had access to. I loved Judge Dredd; was great. Phantom was good too. Um, that's how I got into it. I was and like, so I was into you it. Just, just, you decided I want to do this essentially. Well, I was into it. I was into it heaps when I was a teenager and I like making my own comics and that kind of stuff. But then I fell into the trap that, you know, society tells you that, you know, work a nine to five, make some money, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, don't follow your dreams. Uh, so I, I just didn't do it. I did that for like five, 10 years. And then I'm like, I want to do this again. So that's what, that's what happened with me. Oh, okay. Let me see. Yeah, Rob. Rob is for some reason under the bizarre illusion that Australia didn't have any comic books here forever. We didn't. Where did I get all my comics from then, Rob? Your mansion I on the newsstand. On the newsstand. You got them the from 90s. the mansion. The butler's got them. The boy. mansion. <laughs> the mansion in Forest Hill. Yeah. Okay, so it says, Rob is a comic creator, inventor by nature. He invented the wheel. Thanks, man. <laughs> Wait, someone had to. <laughs> uh, Simply Green says, out of curiosity, replicate a game. What type of game it would be? I've thought about this a lot. It would probably be kind of like, um, oh, geez, I'm blanking on the name now. The Division, but better. I think The Division oh, like has, like, a, has a really solid What's the idea. Division? Uh, it's kind of, it, it was like a post-apocalyptic virus and, you know, everyone's dead and there's like, there's people who have taken over. So there's lots of similar similarities between that and Replicator. It's just, it doesn't have much to it part, apart from that. Like there's no crazy tech, there's no mutant type people in it. It's just kind of like you're a guy and you go around and shoot things and do missions and stuff. It'd be like the division, but better. So what did, I you, do. did you beat the division, uh, Rob? Yeah, I did, man. I got because correct me if I'm wrong here. When you get to the final boss, it's like a dude in a helicopter, and it's just so fucking lackluster. It's like this is it. This is the this is the end. I don't remember. I I definitely beat it. I loved that game. I really felt like you know it was one of the first photorealistic games I remember playing, and. You know, going through New York, I was like, this is, it was just amazing. I, I couldn't believe how cool it was. Uh, but, you know, it's not like one for one accurate. Like, I would go to mm. areas I knew and I was like, well, that's not here. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> exist, you know. But uh, it was, I thought it was really, really cool. It was like the RPG elements of it. And the only thing is I never got to go Midtown because you had to pay to be online to go Midtown. Like, remember, you mm -hmm. had to go into the no zone or whatever it was called. So I yeah. never got to go in there. Um, and I was like, well, I'm not going to pay to do that. But also it was PVP inside. And I was like, I, I don't want to have all my loot state taken from me. So I, I just avoided it. Yeah. I mean, you hoard your loot, clearly. I mean, you keep your loot. It's yours. You don't want to give it yeah. away to anyone else. 
It's my loot, and I uh, and I will weigh myself down <laughs> <laughs> and and walk sluggishly for uh, hours. Uh, but uh, yeah, I had like stash those those stash houses all over the city with all my guns and shit in it. I was never able to in that game figure out how to build a weapon. I was like, I don't really know. So I would just go find like really good sniper rifles and mm -hmm. just you know camp. Yeah, and it was it was a good game. I just I just felt like it it just it didn't land. It didn't land the way I wanted it to. I guess they could have. I done, think they, they should have, have done, done another like a DLC pack where you fought zombies. I thought that would have been great. Mm. But they, I was like, because they have the the setup for it, and I've yet to see an open world city based zombie game. I mean, I'm sure someone in the chat will correct me, but. To the to the degree where I like that. There's not some qualifier where it's like, oh, because there's a couple of them out there, but a lot of them are just like inventory management. The game, like, I don't really give a shit about starting up generators and building camps. Like, I don't want to fucking do any of that stuff. I don't want to raid fridges. I want to like just shoot zombies and that's it. And uh, yeah, I still haven't seen anything. Daisy, maybe. Uh, Daisy is not open world though, is it? I think it is, isn't it? I don't know. Oh no, wait, it's I, I not in the know. city. It's it's like it's just yeah. down like rural. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yeah, but like like yeah, that would have been cool. Like the division, but having like a replicator characters in it and like like and you can play as different different characters, that would have been really cool. So you could and the play styles would be heaps different. That would kind of be my dream. I think to do it that way. What about you? They uh, they're mentioning Dying Light too. Yeah, but that's that's like a parkour game or something. It's, that's all first person. I'm thinking like yeah, you know, third person action RPG. I haven't seen anything like it. You are making a game, aren't you, Camel? Yeah, well, it's not like that. It's it's a just a side scroller. Um, right now, it's a hail salad game. I'm gonna see how well the second chance campaign does because I can very easily turn it into a boots and heels game. I really just have to change the character sprites. Actually, I had to change the levels too, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely going to put a game out at some point, so that'll be cool. But if you had the choice, like if you had like, like, you know, a big Hollywood studio or a big triple a game developer or, you know, and they said, do you want to do a movie? Do you want to do a TV series? Or do you want to do a video game? What would you choose? Oh, I would want to make Boots and Heels into the MCU. I have like five or six movies that I know would work as movies and how they all interconnect. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'd want to do. If that, if, if I like won the lottery, it's like, here's $300 million. You know, make a couple of these. Make them a little bit cheaper because, you know, I'd probably have to do them on green screen. But uh and then I'd have to find actors who genuinely don't want to be on screen, right? Because boots and heels all wear masks all the time. So, but it'd be it, oh, like yeah. they could be in it, but almost like the way they dealt with like Mandalorian, where it's like Pedro Pascal was in that one episode. So, like, I could figure it out. Mm. I'd also you, like, man? I'd like to see boots and heels be an anime cartoon too. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. As in movie or a game? Movie, game, TV series, or something else? I don't know if it would really work as a game. I mean, yeah. it could once the world was already established. I don't know. But... Like, how would you do that as a game? How would you do the Lucent as a game? Like... Yeah, I don't know if it would be, like, super impressive as a game because it's sort of like all the stuff isn't... Like, it's already been done a gazillion times in a gazillion different ways across different games The you know, the, the thing that makes what happens in the Lucent interesting in my mind is that, well, in my world, I'm sort of trying to set it up so that it's not just another one of those things where it's like, oh, people have powers and they go on with their lives. It's like, no, no, you know, if people actually had powers, it would friggin, it would really affect everything. It would change everything pretty much. So I don't know how that you would translate that to a game. So probably a movie. I mean, the whole, the whole. Do you think a series would be better for Lucent? No, because well, it, look, you could do a series, but then 
my the arc that I have planned for my series, it's you know it it's it follows the you know it's the three acts. So it, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, it, with a series, it's ongoing, you know. So maybe a mini series, if anything. Kind of like you know, like uh, what have I watched recently? Uh, mini series no, that was too. like mini series are the best. What are you talking about? Band no, of Brothers? Suck. No, 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 no. They're awesome. It's like you get it's like a movie, but you get like you get to really dig into it and get some good. So you don't have to rush it. KSSS uh, says, yeah, maybe a mini series. How about that? I still want a loosened series. Can't wait to see Melissa McCarthy in action. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Well, you know. Dream. Yeah, I, I mean I'd go for a game, I think. I think that's what I'd that's what I want to do. Yeah, for your story, definitely, I think so. Yeah, it'd be I reckon it could be awesome. A lot of the a lot of the scenes actually, just so like um uh, what's his face? The the main sort of bad guy who runs the Blackgate, Valen, Valen. You're know, like those sort of scenes where he's standing in front of the thing, looking at that. Like, kind of, it kind of feels like a cutscene almost. Mm. Um, you know, between the battles, and it's like, oh, now you know, cutscene to him, and now you're gonna see, um, like you know, new tech entering the the battlefield. Yeah, that you got to deal with. That yeah, that could totally work. But, uh, you know, I sometimes do think about that sort of stuff just as a daydream. And I just don't know if it would, it could even work with the way I've structured my story. They'd have to sort of redo everything because it is really structured in a much more kind of literary kind of way. Like you don't just start movies, you know, in some other place and then that you don't see again and you just don't do that. So um but then again i see a lot of things that i've that have been adapted that the adaptation is actually probably more clever than the original material like v for vendetta for example uh, i much preferred the movie which i thought was more clever than the comic that that that's very rare i think that that happens though in this day um, and age yeah, probably more in this day and age. Uh, but, you know, sometimes what happens is, well, they need to tidy things up. And, uh, like, we were having this argument on one of Jeremy's streams about Tom Bombadil <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. You know, it's like, I, I say it's a good thing that Bombadil didn't turn up in the movie. Because I don't think it would have, I don't think it would have, you could have made it work, but I don't think it needed to. Like it didn't. Movies need to. Every single thing that happens in a movie needs to be there. Like nothing else. Um, and that's not how novels or comics necessarily are written, uh, especially if they're sort of longer, ongoing stuff. So, um, yeah, it's different. Huh. Uh, uh, two hours, guys. Oh, wow. all right. Camel's like getting cold up eat. here. Jeez. Wrap oh, it sorry. up. Wrap it up. Wrap uh, it up. Lucent Waking Dream Second Edition, 176 backers, six thousand two hundred seventy-one dollars raised. Mike, how are you feeling? Feeling very good. Feeling very good. Let's in the let's try and push this forward. I guess the next I got to get to 180. Uh, need to see that you know i've heard some people have said they still haven't backed it so i'm looking they said they want to so i'm looking forward to them uh coming on board how's our, um, our, our covers doing really well <laughs> mike yes uh my cover is uh is people are really resonating so 
I mean, uh, it yeah. just it just didn't work without the red lights. I mean, if you hadn't changed them, no one would have bought it. It's clear clear as day that that's what happened. The changing them from green to red was a good idea. I'll leave it at that. See, Wherever I would have done came. yellow because it's we ambiguous. tried the yellow. Now we we did actually do do the yellow as well. I, again, it was more about they're not supposed to be a focal point. So everything else, especially the green, it they really did draw the eye away uh, from what's supposed to be you're supposed to be looking at. So my I'm doing uh, where's my puzzle? You still haven't gotten it. Where's my? Have puzzle, you put in my... the tracking thing? No. Yours was the haven't... first ordered. That's really uh, um, bizarre. My wife was really looking forward to a Christmas present this year. I hope you feel bad because she didn't get one. <laughs> Kay says, I, I do know? love Tom Bombadil. I just don't know if he would have worked in the films as they were made. If it was a, if it was a long series, like a, a, a thing, yeah, it could have worked. But not in a film. Boots and Heels, 266, 41,000 Australian. Yeah, I hope we get to uh, 29... Maybe we'll even get to 30K in the next two weeks. That'd be amazing. And then, um, you know, then we'll do the uh, the cover contest. Um, I think that's going to bring in a bunch of backers because you're going to get to see, you know, this quadriptic finished. And I have that standee coming out that's being shipped right now. It's already in New York, so I'll get it very soon. And, uh, yeah, if this thing wraps up at 40K, I think that's that, that's a home run. That'd be great. Uh, and then book smart versus stickers. Only It's only one day left and then it's done. So as we said, get on board. They're not far away from 5K. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hal Chokeout in the chat. He agrees. He says no need for Tom in the movies. Yeah, I think so. You got anything else, Mike, or you just? <laughs> I was just, I was like, yeah. is my are my things working, or what's happening here? Is there anything going on? Anything upstairs? Uh yeah. Go back. Uh, bookmarks versus stickers. If Snug Snuggy, I don't know if he reached out to me. If you, I don't know if you got plans for the closeout. Uh, he might have. Um, but uh, if he doesn't, let's do it. Other than that, uh, go back. Boots and heels. Go back. The lucent waking dream. Second chance. Go sub to Camel Moon, sub to Rob Arnold, and uh, sub here if you're not, if you're hanging out on a two-hour draw stream I, yeah, where we looked at rollerblading and talked about what sports we would be the best in the world at. <laughs> uh, I am going to go have dinner, and then after that, I'll get right back onto this. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll probably aim to finish all the highlights on the characters by tonight, so that'll be will be good. Great. And tomorrow um, you're working on the giveaway sign up. You said that'll be good. This week. This week. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I would like to get a little bit further along in this. So, um, we'll uh, we'll see how we go. We'll see. We'll see what what creative spark hits me tomorrow when I let's, get up in the morning. Let's see what the wheel of misfortune has in store. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, thank you, Camel. Thank you, Rob. The biggest thank you of all, as always, goes out to the wonderful, amazing, spectacular, and phenomenal, sexiest chat in all of CG. Uh, I might see you tomorrow if the mood strikes and if Snuggy wants to. Uh, other than that, I uh, hope you have a great night. Uh, peace out. Bye. Night, night. Individually, we are weak, like a single twig. But as a bundle, we form a mighty 